we all see solar panels everywhere. On rooftops to power our houses, over the water to supply coastal areas, flying in the space and even on farms. But can you imagine harnessing the power of the sun from an unexpected place which is between the tracks of a bustling railway line? Yes, you heard it right. Swiss startup Synways is turning this vision into reality with an 18 kilowatt pilot PV system in Neuchâtel, Switzerland. But how can solar panels work safely under trains without cracking? And also can these solar panels mislead train drivers by reflecting lights? What about the cost of such project? Know these and more by completing the video till end. This groundbreaking project approved by Switzerland's Federal Office of Transport will be the country's first removable solar power plant on a railway. Some ways plans to deploy 48 solar panels, each generating 380 watts of power along a 100 meter section of the railway operated by Transen. Despite initial rejections, Rigorous assessments by experts and Gesta Engineering proved the system's safety and compatibility with rail operations. The project, costing 621,800 euros, will inject clean energy into the local grid, supported by partners Viteos and DG Rail. Sunway's innovative approach uses unused space without disrupting train traffic or maintenance, addressing controversies around solar installations in the Alps. The installation process, designed by Scheuchzer SA, can cover up to 1000 square meters of railway per day and the system is fully removable for maintenance. Ongoing tests and measurements will ensure the pilot project meets all safety criteria, supervised by RM Voin Ferre. The company is still facing major challenges with its pilot project near Buttes, despite the promise it holds for renewable energy. The International Union of Railways has voiced concerns about several potential risks. One of the key issues is the possibility of micro cracks forming in the panels, which could reduce their efficiency and in the worst cases lead to fires in dry, vegetated areas near the tracks. Furthermore, there's the danger of sunlight reflecting off the panels and distracting train drivers, which raises safety concerns. These challenges need addressing if the project is to succeed. However, Sunways remains optimistic, stating that their panels are more durable than traditional ones and are designed to prevent such problems. The company claims that it can mitigate glare by using an anti-reflective coating, ensuring the panels don't interfere with train operations. Additionally, the panels come equipped with sensors to monitor performance, allowing early detection of any potential issues. To maintain cleanliness, some ways has proposed attaching brushes to the ends of trains that would clear dirt and debris from the panels as they pass by, reducing the need for manual cleaning. Another concern is that ice and snow might accumulate on the panels, particularly in colder regions, blocking sunlight and rendering them ineffective during winter months. Critics have pointed out that horizontal panels are especially prone to this issue. In response, Sunways is working on a system to melt ice and snow, allowing the panels to function year-round, even in harsh weather conditions. So we can say that, while the project shows promise, Sunways must overcome significant technical and safety challenges to prove its viability. The company is confident in its technology, but only time and continued testing will determine if it can deliver on its claims. Now, what do you think about adding solar panels below trains? Do you think it is a good or bad idea? At the end, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your interactions can truly encourage us. You are also welcome to watch our videos on renewable energy. Thank you and have a nice day.